Today at the 2020 NAMM show, I am here at the Fazioli booth with none other than the legendary Fazioli F212. In my opinion, Fazioli is easily in the top three manufacturers of pianos worldwide, and I absolutely enjoy their pianos. Not only are they beautiful to look at with the beautiful burled wood on the inside and the gorgeous gold-colored harp and the bright red felt, but they also have a beautiful sound and a wonderful, wonderful touch definitely one of my favorite piano actions in the industry today. So today I thought I would give you guys a quick demonstration of the F212 and show you why, in my opinion, it is one of the best seven foot pianos money can buy. One thing that's really interesting about Fazioli to me is that the way they kind of go about deciding what tone their piano should have. A lot of makers will build their pianos and then after the fact decide whether or not they want the pianos to be warm or to be cold or to be bright or to be mellow. But Fazioli does it a bit differently, and I've actually heard this from the man himself, Mr. Fazioli. He told me that as he's building the piano, he analyzes what type of sound the piano is going to be, what the piano, what the wood of the piano is telling him it wants to be. Is it going to be a bright, a mellow, a warm, a cold piano? And as he's building the piano, he voices that piano to bring out those qualities of the piano. So these instruments here have actually a bit of a brighter tone than some of the other Fazioli's that I have found. They probably decided to bring their brighter, more powerful pianos to the NAM show to compete with the louder environments here at the show. A lot of times in stores you will find Fazioli's that have this warm, rich, mellow tone. But it's really interesting that Fazioli decides the brightness and the voicing of their piano based on what the instrument and the, the materials themselves are indicating that they want to be voiced at. So that's really fascinating. One of the many, many things that separates Fazioli from so many of the other manufacturers. Without any further ado, let me play some music on here and give you guys a demo of how this instrument sounds, and I think you will like it. One of my favorite things about Fazioli is that always seems to be the same, no matter how bright or mellow the piano is, is the action. It's nearly, it's about as close to perfect as I can think of in a piano action. It's the perfect weight of substantial but also light, and you have an incredible dynamic range. You probably won't even be able to hear this, but I'm actually playing it like about as quiet and lightly as I possibly can, and it's still actually making a sound. The action on Fazioli's is absolutely incredible, always impeccable. I've never found a Fazioli that had an action that I didn't like. They're absolutely incredible. Another thing I love about Fazioli's that always is perfectly consistent is the amazing growly sound of the bass. Fazioli does some crazy magic to the strings on these pianos. I have no idea what it is, but every single Fazioli I've ever played, from the 212 all the way up to the 308, their 10 foot 2 piano, has an incredible, incredible sound in the bass. Let me check, let me check this out.
such a rich, deep, sonorous sound from that bass that honestly comes close to rivaling even the greatest concert grands on the planet. I have no idea how Fatsuli manages to get such a rich sounding bass in a 7 foot piano, but it's better than virtually every other 7 foot piano on the market aside from the other pianos that are in that very tippy top echelon up there along with Fatsuli. It's a phenomenal, phenomenal sound, amazing piano, and I love playing Fatsuli's so much. It takes absolutely no effort at all to make the treble end of this piano sing out and sparkle above the rest of the instrument. Just so easy to make it do that. It's so, so impressive. The final piece I thought I would play on here is the third movement of Moonlight Sonata. I think I'm just going to play a small section of it because there's some other stuff I want to get to here on the last day of the NAMM show. But let me try a little bit of the third movement and see how that goes. Of course, the Fatsuli will make it sound amazing. The other thing a Fazzoli piano never fails to have is power. This has so, so much power that I actually played a little bit too loud and I think the recorder may have clipped a little bit there. But it has so much power, so much amazing, amazing sound, an incredible action, a beautiful appearance. I absolutely adore Fazzoli's. I really, really hope that you guys have enjoyed this video here at the 2020 NAMM Show. There's so many cool things to do, so many cool things to see. If you guys ever have the chance to come to the NAMM Show, definitely give it a shot. I absolutely love it. 
It's an amazing experience, and I love being able to play world-class pianos like Fazioli. So again, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, you might want to go check out my channel. I have lots of cool videos of pianos, organs, keyboards, digital pianos, Fazioli's, and all kinds of other great stuff as well. So if any of that sounds cool, you might want to go check out my channel. If you subscribe, thank you very much, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.